Alrighty, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install these uh, seat belt uh, bracket thingies right about here on both sides of the cabin according to the plans and after watching John's video which and this stuff is kind of hidden in the video in between like doing the firewall stuff and mounting the mounting like the nose wheel the the nose gear so it was kind of kind of hidden in there that's why I need to do this before I forget about it um, so it looks like on the plans it's saying well, 30 centimeters down from that top uh, from the top piece of that extrusion is where we want to mark this right about 30 so right yeah that looks, that looks pretty good so right about there go ahead and mark that and then Let's see, can I clamp that? I don't know if I can clamp it. Yeah, let me see if I can clamp it. That might work. So we put this guy right about there. Let's move, actually, let's move it like right. I'm trying to, well, yeah. that seems like a pretty good spot. Except we might have issues. No, that should be fine with that one rivet. That no, should be okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, it's clamped in place on the bottom there. Let's clamp it right here. Got it clamped on the top and the bottom, so I should be able to just uh, put a few pilot holes through there, and then get some clecos to hold it in place. Yep. Where's my bit of drill? Is that the one I like? No. Here it is. Hmm, it might actually be easier to try and drill it from this side instead of the other side. Can I even get to it? No, I can't even get to that. Okay. Okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is make a mark on this side. And right about there. And then I'm actually just going to... Put it, put it on this side where I can actually drill it. Drill, drill at least, or yeah, I'll drill probably all the holes that way. Get it lined up right about there. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, we're just gonna get it as much on there as we can. Actually, what I have to do is, yeah, well, no, that actually seems pretty good. It seems pretty well lined up. Uh, I don't think we'll have any problems. Yeah, that seems pretty good right there, actually. Wait, wait, wait. No, we'll have huge problems. I take it back because uh, because we have to account for this part of the extrusion, the uh, the thickness there. So that's okay. good thing to consider. Um. Okay. Well, then maybe what I will do is I'll just get a long drill bit and drill from right here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I don't know, that's a pretty good angle right there. Too much angle. All right, I'm gonna do it like this then. I'm just going to, I think, if I could just put a spacer in there or I'll just get it, I'll just get it to where it's, uh, hmm. yeah, a spacer would be best. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Wait. Is that the same thickness? Mm, not really. Parts even are. Anyway, here's a bracket that will be used for something in the future. But it looks about the same thickness as this piece here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, as a spacer. How's this going to go like that? I'm going to use this to get the spacing right. Um, 
so that I can drill all these holes on this side. Oh well. Okay. Let's drill out these holes. Go in there. Get a handful of these clickers. Well, I only need like four of them. Clicking pliers. Ta da! Okay, cool. So all of those holes uh, have been drilled, and I'm thinking we might get in there with a 90 degree uh, bit. And what we'll do is swap these around. It's super dull. So that's not working. Alright, I have to find another bit. Oh yeah, so much better. Okay. Cool. Alright, uh, we need some other Clecos. Need some of these. And eventually we'll need some of these. Size up to number 20. But the question is, do we have a number 20 bit? All right, now I think I can actually get an actual rivet gun onto uh, onto those rivets to rivet them. Um, but I need to use the smaller rivet gun as opposed to this rivet gun because the barrels are different sizes, different uh, diameters. So that's what I need to do. Let's see. ones off. So I'm going to swap the uh, A4 and the A5. Labels. 
because that's what we do. We label them so that way we don't have to look at the look at the tip and try to figure out which one it is every time, or look at the you know the head, whatever they call that. So this shouldn't get in the way. Oh wait a minute. Uh, oh 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 oh. Hold on a second here. Just occurred to me that we've got this rivet right here, and this seat belt is going to get in the way. Doggone. Okay. Let's see if I could get to this one with a handheld. Ugh. Ugh. Not really. No, it's just too much of, of out of the way. Shoot. All right. Well, it looks like we will not be riveting these yet, but at least I did most of the work of drilling the holes out and everything. So, oh man, thought I was going to get to rivet something. Okay. Well, I'll just leave these in place for now, and then I'll have to remember to rivet these after I get the seat pans installed.